name is India Johnson. I am the founder, executive director, and school leader at Thrival India Academy. We are purpose-driven. We focus on healing. We focus on making the world our students' classroom. What I really appreciate about Skillsline is that there's there's all these things that I wish people knew how to do or that I wish I could impart upon my teachers, my students, my board members and volunteers. And Skillsline happened to come along and systematize imparting that knowledge upon these people in really bite-sized ways that I appreciate. So it's not something that's just another thing for them to do that's on their plate. I'm being helped along in this journey of preparing them to better meet the needs, the human needs of literal humanity. So being self-actualized, I think it, it makes life enjoyable and fulfilling for me. I believe that's what everybody deserves. And there are skills that it takes to get us to being in a place of self-actualization. And when more people are self-actualized, then the world actually has more balance. I may be someone who believes in a utopia, but in my utopia, there's problem solving skills. There's not an absence of problems, but there's an abundance of problem solving skills. There's not, a, and there's, no absence of confusion, but there's an abundance of critical thought. There's not an absence of conflict, but there's an abundance of compassion. There's not an absence of anger, but there is an abundance of self-regulation. So I just see where there are gaps. And if we just fill these gaps with those human skills, we can be changed. If this is what it takes to be a 21st century and beyond human for the good of humanity. We're all working on skills via skills line. So it gives us a common goal and it gives us, it, it, it humanizes us for the students because we can say, oh yeah, I'm working on that skill too. That's an area of growth for me as well. For the students to be able to see us working through these things. Sometimes, a lot of times, teachers see themselves as a sage on the stage and are just handing out material for students to do. And we're not acknowledging the ways that we have to grow as well. It's very important for schools to model continuous growth and evolution because none of us are ever done. When you become a teacher, you don't you don't stop being a learner.